CrackBrain.com. Hey, CrackBerry Nation, this is Carrie Neal, and I'm going to quickly go through the new calendar application of the BlackBerry Playbook OS 2.0 software. I'm going to go ahead and open up my calendar application here. Zoom in on the screen a little so you get a better look. So the calendar application is actually a great new addition to the BlackBerry Playbook. Really quickly, we'll go over the different views. Over here on the left hand side, you've got three icons. The very top will take you to the current day. Say, for instance, you're clicked on the other day and you want to see what you have for that day. You quickly click over here and it'll take you to the very first day. The next icon is your week format, where you can see your week at a glance. And then the bottom one is your month. Down here at the bottom, you've got an icon where you can quickly add an appointment. And we'll go ahead and go over this. Right here you can select the different calendars that you have synced to your account. Next you type in the subject, your location, your date, start time, end time, if you want a reminder set and any notes you may have. Now you may notice that the attendee option is missing from this. There is a fix for this, and if you go to crackberry.com and check out the post that's linked with this video, you'll see the way that you can fix it that one of our fantastic forum members added for us. But this is what it would look like if you have the attendee option. You can save by clicking the top one, and this bottom one will bring up your, if you are free, tentative, busy, or out of the office for that appointment. Discard that appointment. As you can see, just by glancing at the calendar, I can see which day that I may have more free time to schedule a different appointment or meeting. The larger the number on your calendar, the more things that you have scheduled. So as you can see, the 17th is pretty large on mine. We'll bring it up. And over here, I have a little thing that says events with a pull down menu. That tells me there's two different events that day, somebody's birthday and St. Patrick's Day. I can quickly click on it and it'll bring it up. Hit the arrow to go back. And that's about it for that day. I can also quickly look at my agenda view. And this will quickly tell me what I have going on that day. And the last tab over here on the right is the people tab. Now, if I had a meeting scheduled that day with someone, like, let's see, let's go to a day that I do. Here you'll see that I have a meeting scheduled. It's actually a lunch date with my husband. So you see that his name is on there and any other people that would be meeting us that day would also be located on there. And that is what the attendee option is for. Now really quickly, if you swipe down from the top, here you'll see all the different calendars I have synced. The playbook is a local one. I have that unchecked because I don't want to get that confused with any of my other ones. Same with the one that you see marked here is Carrie. That is my original Google Gmail calendar. And if you read the fix, you'll see why that's unchecked. And then I've got a calendar for each of my kids, business, Facebook, and whatever. Over here, we've got the refresh. You can hit this to manually refresh your calendars. Then you've got your settings. And in the settings, you've got two different options, the display and actions and the calendar preferences. In the display and actions, you can set the default meeting duration, your default meeting reminder time, default all day meeting reminders, the snooze, what view, calendar view you want, whether you want to see the agenda right off the bat or day or people. You've got when you want to start the first day of the week. Some people use just the business week, so they may only want it to start on Monday. And then you've got working days. Some people may work on a schedule that includes the weekend, so they can easily change it here. Then you can set your working hours, display the week numbers on the calendar, and then you pick the first week of the year, which starts on whichever. Some people that are on fiscal years, this date may be down in October or November. Next, you've got your calendar preferences. Here you see all the calendars and the colors that I've assigned them. And I can easily configure one or the other just by clicking on it. And it will take me back to my account configuration. And I'll show you what that looks like. Here you pick the colors just by clicking on the calendar. 
and then we go to account configuration and it'll take me where I can add even more calendars. Okay folks, so that's the last of our video walkthrough of the calendar application in the brand new BlackBerry Playbook OS 2.0 software. Make sure you keep it locked to crackberry.com for more tips, tricks, and how-tos.